Hello, Grandma D. Hi, I've had time getting hold of you. Oh, sorry. I had to, I just got back from running to the store. I was running oh. late. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. I'm cold. Hi. Oh. hi, Miss Marion. <laughs> oh, hi. Good, good evening. Good afternoon. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. Oh, Grandma Dorothy's calling me. Hey, so I'm going to pause the recording and get this call really quick. Okay. Can everyone hear me okay? Oh, I can. <clears throat> All right. Well, I think it might just be us for now, so we'll go ahead and uh, get started. Um, Could you get Velma on? She was trying. Yeah, she said she's driving. She's not sure if she'll be able to, but she uh -oh. said she would try. Uh oh, so, okay. Yeah, she just wanted to let us know. Um, okay. So, and then I got a message from Courtney. She said it's a uh, uh, her husband's birthday, so they're celebrating. <laughs> she said she'll have to miss today, but she says hello. Um, all right. Well, let's let's see. I'm gonna pull up the um, recording we were listening to last week, and we can continue that one. Let's see. I think it was. Number 11. Okay. Let me find my notes really quick so I can see. Uh, do we want to uh, pick up where we left off or do we want to start the recording over? I think we were only like a few minutes into it. What's your preference? Start. I'll continue. Okay. Whatever. No worse thing. Well, I haven't been here in weeks, so I don't I don't know what you were doing last week. Okay. Um let's see here. Um all right, yeah. I think we only got a couple minutes in, so we can go ahead and uh start it. So this is um let me share my screen. This is session number 11 for the Kiowa Culture Program. And it says it's about child's care. So let's see. And we'll go, okay, can, uh, let's see, I'm gonna play it for a minute and see if you can hear it. Aslan <clears throat> This is Kawa Culture Program. Okay. Can you hear that okay? Oh. Uh, All right. Well, we'll go ahead and use the uh, their opening prayer on there for our opening prayer. So we'll go ahead and play it and... We'll pause it and see if either of you have any comments you'd like to share. So, um, ah, co. So the session number 11, October 26, 1977, at Hobart, Oklahoma, where the Kawa people are living. And uh, we're glad to be here today. And the people are present today is Hill Frame. Etcha Topa, Hazel Boto, Bruce Lone Wolf, Sarah Nelson Big Bow, Tom Little Chief, Lloyd Toyball, Mr. and Mrs. James Tuetchit, and uh, James Silverhorn, Yellow Spotted Bird, and uh, Stevens Otai Hall, and Frank and Lane and Angela. 
And today uh, I'd like to ask uh, uh, Mr. Yale Spottybert to do the invocation. And after that, we'll have a subject will be children, child care of a young and an adult. Uh, co Okay. Uh, do either of you have any comments on the prayer? Well, it was long. I've forgotten it by the time it gets to the end, but he was just commenting about how they were meeting there at at Harvard and uh Pat was good to me and speak be able to speak Kiowa to each other and that that was somewhere in there he says that that's their purpose of meeting together so that 
of the younger people. No one knows how to speak Kiowa anymore or speaks it. So it's their, that was their purpose so that perhaps in the future they will be able to speak Kiowa. <laughs> Obaha. Oh, aho. Miss Marion, would you like to comment? He said that the purpose there was to, um, for speaking the language. And, um, well, he said it was good that they were all meeting there in a building today. And all uh, are here. Um, the purpose, of course, was to speaking and learning the language. <clears throat> that um, the older people are gone, <laughs> passed away. And the children today, they don't know the traditions, the road, Kiowa road. <clears throat> and excuse me. And he said today we're spe uh, speaking and this uh, traditions are going away. Everybody speaks the white language. And we uh, love our traditions and our uh, language. And then him and his wife speak the language to each other. And he said, in, <clears throat> in that way, you don't forget it. Excuse me. <clears throat> and he said, uh, <clears throat> he talked about people working. And I think he was just referring to the people working <clears throat> they um, lose the language but he said it's a good thing but we I love our traditions and they must speak it and when they meet with other people they speak the language and it makes them happy to hear it and uh, then he just asked that uh, God be with all the relatives <clears throat> But I was just adding to what uh, Dolores had mentioned. Excuse me. <clears throat> and that's it. Oh, aho. Uh um, I like uh, he said, uh, bye, ba, da. And then he said, bay, gooey, bay. I like how he referenced the sunrise. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good, but yeah, yes. he said some. He's praying for those who are sick, I guess. So they good, but... Yeah. Oh. Oh. Um, that's a good prayer. Uh, okay, let's see. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and we'll listen to the first speaker. Well, Carl, it's a dope I will not do it. Hey, Ron, hey, Ron, Nicky, howdy, Nicky, ah, you go, oh, my God, oh, so, don't get into it. ไอ้ยังไงเนี่ยหายอนเอ๋ยกิตอดเองเจ้าฮอนดิกุกิโกเอ็มโกฮอนดิกิตอาเจ้าฮอนดิตูอาอมดอเนาะเอ๋ยก
Fanico, he go ki ato. Neko opa hoi go ate. So take him of him, get cooked all the kid. Hayet agi, get a combat. Get hiding for him opa hoi. Eight take dead. No neki ato, opa hoi. Oh, it's a Oh, sorry, I missed it. Let me go back. Hayet agi et et kumbat ko. Ke haerdik no dim opa ho. Eit teik ged eilik itzolo. Nonik i ato di opa ho yitam. No. Okay, for Esther Topa. Or did either of you like to make any comments about her speech? <clears throat> well, uh, <clears throat> she just wanted to sing in the past that everyone wanted the best for the, their children. And uh, she used the word uh, maybe Mary and I heard talk together. Is that what she said? That means what they want or wish for their. Is that what uh, Marion? What was that word? I'm I'm here and talk together. Um, I think you're right about what you said. Your definition. And I miss that. Uh, I mean, I didn't write it down, but I heard it. Yeah, I've heard that a time or two. That just means that that you you're you're uh, striving to uh, you know do the best for the children. And uh, is it talk ghetto? Talk yeah, talk yeah, and talk yeah. I guess we'd have to listen to it again to talk. Get whether it's an I or an ah, what she said. Talk yeah. Do you want me to rewind it? She talked for about a minute, so it wasn't too long. I can rewind it. Oh. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go back. Well, it's a dope I will not do. Hey, how the key how the are. Iko <laughs> Got Neko opa hoi go ate, doi, so te gimu tem ge kut hao te kit 
ha hai et agi et kombatko ke hardi no de moppa ho ei take it ei oikeesti solo non e ki a moppa ho no saia ma vai go get them san ma tei mo o go hai ya ba pel to do de mo pa hi ba do me de thong go e ke ko Oh sorry I couldn't find the pause button Hai et a ge ge ke ko ma ko ke hai de ko de mo pa ho ei take ke do Okay. Were you able to catch it? Yeah, I think it's just a tight shadow. Hey, she said, hey, tight shadow. Tape. Is it tape or take? Sounds like tape. It's like tape. T-A what? Okay. Like tape. Either a T or a P. Okay. Tape. Yeah, though. Yeah, though, or yeah, though. Gado, take gado. 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 Oh, and you said that refers to a uh, striving for something? Yeah, you're, uh, that's just what you want for the child. Oh. Okay, I'm taking some notes. Oh. oh. Okay, let's see here. All right, so the next one, I think that was, this is going to be Hazel. And, okay, I'm going to go ahead and press play. I'm going to try to catch the, catch the pause at the right time this time. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. My go get them and my day more. Oh, go hai ya ba pel to do de mo pa hi ba do me de thong go e ke kong ba do go hai ya hon de ke san ge do sem sa do e po ya u go bu hon de thai go on be bu mo go a do go to u pa hi ya be a ke kong to de sa pe be hi a ku sa do ka ye bu bu to non de ha ge ha ge a ha pe to hai ge do o go kon de ye em go o ge ko ge do san do de ge mo hem to sem hai ye an hai de to go to ge ge do to de go o ge to ge om do on ki ya kom da da pa ke hai mon ge do o ge o ko a pe do de te go san do de ga hu da ku ta ku to to de o ge do de pa su ko ne o go do ba ke kul be de e go o go pi ka ka i ta te te go ge om do ye na ku te do ne ha ge ho to ye de te a ho to ye go de ki gum ba o pa pa de go de ki pa ge ho do de o ye de de tu ge so gua ke go san do de bu tha ge ho de o pa o a ge ho te go o go ge hai ge do hai ye o ko ke hin mon de ko de go pa on de o pa o ke ko ke so thai dum ke do ko de go mo ol o ko de do ol ke le go de san api to aku hon de an do de go de ke a ke o a ke ko san do de go so lo ak i ai mai 
Okay. Would either of you like to comment on Hazel? Well, she went way, way back. And that's what she said. That's what mm -hmm. she was talking about. <clears throat> talking about the clothing when a child was born, the kind of you didn't have a story. All you had was you clothed them and kept them warm with animal skins. I think she mentioned, I guess, sheep or I don't know what it was. Anyway, animal skin to make their clothing to keep them warm. And then to keep them clean, she talked about going, people knew what to get and how to keep those children clean. And then toward the end, she told about how uh, you took care of your clothing and the child learned from observing you hung up your clothing. There was nothing ever around on the ground. So that's what she talked about a long, long time ago. And uh, when the car was still traveling and camping those days, before being introduced to uh, modern times. <clears throat> Oh, 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 Miss Marion. Um, she said, yeah, what Dolores said, she's talking about the traditional times of uh, years ago and uh, uh, taking care of the children. People a long ago, they, they taught their children. And she goes over to talk about the clothing. They had no fabric like we do today. And they used like deer skin. Oh. And then their shoes, the muck, the soles of the shoes were made of buffalo hide. And their thread was um, dang heat, dang heat. Which is that uh, sinew? That's what they sewed with, and about cleaning, keep the children clean. They didn't have soap like today, but they knew which plants to use. And she said uh, they took care; they taught them because uh, you don't just go throwing things around, and. That's where I kind of got it. I was right, trying to write something and I kind of skipped a word. But she's just saying it's not a good thing to, um, well, be careful. Don't be thrown, teaching them to take care of their things. Because mm -hmm. um, that implied good habits to me. That's what it implied. And then they would uh, dress up the children to make them look nice. But uh, it's also my understanding. Um, at one time, there's one particular, because I knew they made combs out of a certain bristle from the 
certain animal, beard of an animal, and that was a comb or a hairbrush. And I, I saw when the, one of our Kiowa persons had cat, he was a keeper. He showed that to me. And also the, the soap was from certain plants. And one of the useful plants is uh, the root of the cactus. But I'm just adding that. But she didn't say that. I'm just, I'm just saying these last few comments. So, Obaho. Oh, Aho. That's awesome. Was it um the yucca plant for soap? That one I'm plant with the, that yucca plant, you know, with the big long needles and the purple flower at the top. It's really tall. Oh, I don't know, but in my day, I remember my mother using her root to wash my hair, shampoo. Oh, that's mm -hmm. awesome. I don't know which word it was, but I remember that. With rain yes, rainwater. She used the root and rainwater that she collected. Wow. That rainwater's good. It makes your hair <laughs> soft, right? Oh, that's what that's what I've heard. Um, heard y'all talk about before about rainwater. It was must have been the secret ingredient, huh? <laughs> well, the strange thing about that is they were on the move all the time, and it didn't always rain. They weren't weren't rained all the time. Oh. I don't know how they caught the rainwater. Yeah, that's a good question. <laughs> hmm. Um, they had they have they had pots that were made, but I won't go into that either. Still, they had what? One day they had they had containers containers. I just said pot. No, oh, pot. we say pot containers. That they made. I said I could go into that. Oh. Well, that's good to know. Okay, let's see. Um, all right, I guess we'll uh play the next speaker then. Ah, uh, cool. Go for one to get cool. <clears throat> now this is actually the things that I I was not there but my mother and her sisters over to up a old man horse and kill the south Jake come down kill I don't know I don't know if uh uh, Uncle Loy knows a boater. That's night. He passed away 1896. Yeah. And that was him that told the story, or rather the life of our Kiowa people. Now, where he got the main part of it, I'm just saying these things, you know, and then I'll, I'll come back in. And then he... Uh, he would refer to the grandfather over his father. I don't know, that's the way we are, you know, our people. It takes cold every time. So we, we catch that on. This is what I heard in 1910. Uh, 1896, Haya Om, the oldest Kiowa living. And they uh, both died. And he knows quite a few things because I called you. That must be about 1750. They are you, they called you. Boy, that was the time they go back. I keep the Abbey talking and pursue countries. 
Well, that's that's quite a ways. Eh, to this day, where well, we could say, ah, oh, that high get them. Well, we keep that in our thoughts, in our mind as young people. 1910, Monday, I guess six, I said, the seven, 1940, yeah, born. So this is where I grasp. Oh, now I'm referring to just one home, my grand grandpa. And then from there, I do hope that each family could bring theirs, like the uh, sister uh, Hazel. All right, he says, uh, 1896. I get, I I Oh, uh, here they get out. That's something that we should always keep. No, here at the pool, I'm on, well, one, six, seven, I said. Six. I go, I told you, because they're going to go, yeah, I get That's why with kids today, I'll go pay the, uh, bit high, get the hot, they land those on it, they'll more, more, all cars on, they go, my lady, they listen. That's a one get out doctor. I caught on, of course, later on. Yeah, I get same thing. <clears throat> Go to be in that time, hey, here, 1910. Hey, go take over my old man. Nay, on the over high, go back to our go. And hey, that's a now you, we must remember this old man had told his story of the Kiowa people from the Yellowstone way back. New York, Washington, The it's documented up there. The Habakkuk Bow Book the old boy, your story. Oh, here I all part about them hang that go anchor cat come the higher by on ball. Higher by, but all day go by collate all day. Go higher am come on pinky by pot the day in my one and thunder. Oh, go pinky, oh, you got on car, oh, got on take but hard. How big a dog them get paid by Coco Key, that Kiko A. came out to learn a hank a dog way back. A hank a dog got pain a hank a dog got up on the big back pot to hang the hank a dog. I'm going to take a hint more. I'm going to tell them what don't get gas on what that. So we do. I get so it home. Oh, here they get, get, uh, they put her to be, get, get, go, go, do, on a time, pay, go, go, on, they, I love, get, go, my, sad, pay, by, on, they, zel, by, no, on, they, pay, do, I, hi, get, go, my. They are, you could get preserved, well, my, I'm, go, plums. It go, it go, do, da, 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 it ha, kick, da, da, mon, da, 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 Wow. So he talked a lot of English, um, but the Kiowa parts that he said, that, or do either of you have any comments in general? Now, who was the speaker? I don't. I didn't catch the name in the beginning. They. I don't. I don't think they said the name. Did you recognize his voice? I think it was mine. I think it was my grandfather. 
James to her team. I think. Yeah, I, I mean, thought maybe that might have been. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Cool. Uh, maybe there's no way. <laughs> like how he said, get, get dry or get dry. Get, he was talking Kiowa and English like in the same sentence. Well, he was speaking on a number of subjects, but it made me laugh the last part. Talking about plums, how they uh, wild plums, how they squash them at their hands, you know, got out uh -huh. all the juice, all the, I guess, and I remember doing that, only they cooked them, I think my mother may have cooked them, I don't know, anyway, I remember putting patties on a canvas and putting it on the roof of our arbor, but he said it looked like hamburgers. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I guess I when they that. turn colors, when they dry, huh? Well, yeah. You, when they dry, they put them away till winter. Did they mix oh, anything God. into them, or was it just the plums t the squished? Well, the seeds were in there, too. So, anyway. Yeah, you did. Uh, I remember doing that. Oh wow, that's smart. Put it away till and then eat it. Eat it later in the winter. That's awesome. I have a recording of my uh, Alita Macalini describing when they went to hunt plums, well, uh, well, sand plums, and the way they cooked them and what they did. Oh yeah. wow. Mm. <clears throat> That's awesome. Anyway, I think the general idea was that he was an old man and he asked people to come to, uh, he was going to speak, talk, <clears throat> and that was it. And that it, Marion, somebody, and he gave his name, but I don't, I don't know his name. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, which name? Uh, the name uh, the, when he started out I, with a name, I think. I mean, yes, the first part. He was talking about, yeah. He was uh, speaking of uh, Teburu. Teburu is really the way to say it, Teburu. It was uh, a dry. Uh, all the time that he was carrying by a, a deer or something like that called tape. That the, the thigh is called tape. Uh -huh. But he was carrying it as oru as a bitch. And that's where the name comes from if you want me to, if you want me to give that description, I can, but otherwise he's talking about his uh maternal grandfather Eboru. April. And oh. he was the elder who would tell the story and he would always say, my grandfather, I got the story from my, his grandfather and his grandfather got the story from his grandfather. And so it just went back where they would pass the story on verbatim since the 1700s as far back as they could remember and so he's talking about uh, after he passed away then he didn't go into detail about that but it was about 1910 after he had passed away the people you know from the military who had been keeping track of Tabor's information, they met with some of the Kiowa people at Akinto's uh, home. And they wanted to see if, find out if this information 
that Abono had given to them was uh, actual. And so the people that were there meeting, they verified everything that Abono had said as true. And Akinto happens to be, uh, he was married to uh, my grandpa James's aunt, his uh, mother's sister. She was an older sister. That's who Akinto was married to. And um, so they met at his house for that discussion. But he says, you know, even as children, People think that, you know, the children don't learn because they're busy, you know, playing around or this and that. But they might be around the old folks and they'll be listening to what they say. And they remember whatever that is spoken because they also understood the language. And that was his emphasis about, you know, people should remember there ancestry and stories that were told by their grandpas, great grandpas, and their great grandpas. And he talked about, you know, those were the times when they had no sugar, no food like they do today. They used that uh, elm bark. They put it in water, used it like coffee, and drank it like coffee. So today, that's what they would probably People would probably call it coffee, but it was a drink that the Kyles had. And he talked about the tribe and help preserving the plums and thyme piegos, those uh, wild uh, fruit. And about how you, you know, mash it up so it looks like, uh, looks like hamburger meat, like you were describing the experience that you had. And uh, that was all. No, well, that was all documented. Anyway, there's other stories that my uh, table had told that my grandfather told me. So this is part of, this is a little bit, just a little touch of what I told. So, Omaha. Oh, oh, oh. oh. And uh, I saw uh, Grandma Martha Nell join us. Yes, I thought we weren't having a meeting, but I saw Marion's note. So, <laughs> and then my computer yeah. was crazy. Yeah. So, uh oh, you know, I'm on here. Well, <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, yeah, Grandma Dorothy um, had called me earlier to see, and she said she didn't have a technician today, mm -hmm. and then Miss Velma wasn't able to get on, but um, the uh. I figured we better meet today because next weekend is Tonkonga and everyone will be, oh, know, yeah. a lot of people will be busy with that probably. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I figure mm -hmm. we'll meet today and then we can pick up uh, after Tonkonga, the weekend after. Yeah. So, but, um, uh, Monday. Well, I was going to say, add to what uh, uh, James Tuhatcher was saying about little children listening you think they're not listening but the, I I think I said that once several times about myself you know in my relatives that were my age uh, we were just mm -hmm. going to say we heard them speaking so they didn't pointedly say you know I mean you heard mm -hmm. it even though they mm -hmm. weren't to you that's how you picked up that's how i picked up words things that i recall now so it's really true that's right oh. because yeah. our grandma she would say she would be talking in kind because she didn't think it was smooth i know what she said <laughs> because we we had learned language and we knew what they were saying we listened yeah. mm -hmm. <laughs> that's awesome um okay let's see here yeah 
All right. Well, we'll go ahead and move into the next speaker and see who this is. And it looks like we probably have, it says we have 18 minutes left in the recording. So hmm. we might be able to finish it up today. We'll see. So, uh, on a young boy. Good. <clears throat> Nay go get Tozanma. Goy, Goy Tali dot o Hatso Hatso Akom da dog ego Tong up to the Ugu Kia. No, 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 I got dog there. I can't uh, uh, say only what I know when I grew up. I go in high again. I go tall and dog with saw, can't go cold to tally. I go, uh, I go, uh, go there, though. Go, gully down the hundred pay, though. Uh, tall and arm, though, but, uh, I got. How to buy you not down, I got down, the Gomon men town, son, Gomon, a cobom, you a he, and no, no, I get fourth one, one at door. They go, I get paid, or I get go, more go, toy up, paid, though. Go, I got, I got town, son, hell, day. Go go down me the next day again also. Hey, go today I can I can wear earrings. I think my ears are still pierced. One hour I get kiat kiat I get go and ki koi hold down or oi bato ito the ha get main dog I go I go and also. He go, uh, uh, I, I go to go to the I got tongue a little hard to sign. The men meant a good I He go, they were very careful. And uh, I told Cope up to go and I going to catch cold. He go, I got, uh, uh, cold Cope on. I know Mark Orchai, how about you? Do you want me to have a settlement? Get all the who you kill. Uh, Ellie Pop, when do you want me? I've been for a comp and I'll do you. Well, uh, can't take a comp, take go. You got it. I ain't take the back way back. And I try it. I'm an only. I saw him, but I go, I gonna take two, go on the yatsuke dog and keep. Go dog, get dog, the eight day, and dog talk on the dog, and go tall and dog, the eight day dog and high get. Oh, I got son and go. I go, and dog, they're singing, uh, singing family, though. You go up to now, I go, even to go hard, I am dog, four and a half books, I'll pay high. Oh, yeah, they pay, they go uh, more, they took care of me more than the other grandchildren. Tatay dog, hope, hope, come, give my come, come, hot dog, and they ain't dog, hot hard. I get that dog. I got, 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 they bought me them. They're going to hide, big enough to ride. I got all safe, though. All safe, though, both sides. It's all safe. Ribbons on the back. They go here, they go. I got the saddle, I'll get cool. I got a toy, I got a name out. Saying, I got a horseback. 
I ain't got it. Don't get to go. We're gonna get good out. Go three miles south of Hobart. Go same. In the morning, again, go talk. Try go on top. I ain't got more cold. Go talk something. So I grew up on a horse. The old here, the ago, more took care of me more than the other children. I guess simply because I was kind of weak when I was growing up. They don't want to lose me, I guess. Oh, the better go ahead. Stay on the get though. Okay, hold the get though. Ah, oh, I have to bounce over the top. Bro, how thank a dog. He now come going to white buffalo thing. For you, it was stacker cat. How thank a dog. He now. So long, yeah, I get all the egg of a tongue, yeah. One of the, one of the, yeah, the salt, yeah, one of the salt, the pile. I remember a son saying, Dark Tet saying, but the tower and big calm, but the gun, not the roll, but the gun, the how. Come the zeal, bad. I got so, I got, I get got. I go cars, it's Sunday, go, oh yeah, go cars, you know, the cars to drive, we were the first family to own a car. They oh yeah, they, oh yeah, it's so long, I go, no, at here. Go, go, on one day, somebody thought, oh, get down my leg, go, talit, yeah, but don't get it, so long. Tula, Tula, not here. No, 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 Okay, uh, who was that speaker? Yes, oh, excuse me, yes, yeah, spotted bird. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, who would like to comment first? Said a lot of stuff. <laughs> oh, he talked for uh, almost what? 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah, he said he gave a lot of information. Oh. Oh. oh, excuse me. The, I better not comment. I can't cut my throat. But when mm. he began, he talked about, he used a word that I haven't heard. It was talking about uh, that he was, well, no other word, the only word I could say is he was all day. Yeah, and uh, somewhere and they was telling that he didn't know the reason except most of their I think his siblings had died, mm -hmm. and, and then his uh, parents were. I, it, to me, that's a term that they had lost all their. I don't know what the term was, but it was one that I never heard. I wonder, Mary, and did you hear that mm -hmm. when you first started out? How. He was the only one left, and I think that was just really, and when they grew up, he just had one sister. Yeah, her name was Emma. Mm -hmm. And so anyway, mm -hmm. and somewhere yeah. I think in, in uh, yeah, anyway, I, he was saying that they lost, he didn't know, but that's what he thought, that they lost their children. He used the term like they were. I don't know how to explain it. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Uh -huh. They lost their they lost their children. He was about the only boy left. And he said boy he'll go hey dogs. 
<laughs> when he grew up, that he was very loved. But he had some brothers. They lost all their, they lost their children. So I guess he was the younger one that was left. And that was the reason for treating him so special. And that's what he comments. But we can uh, understand that because he's describing the extra attention that they gave to him. And uh, they do, they don't. They don't honor him. He, um, he said he was a tight home. Christians about different things. And uh, that's about uh, when he went to school, he rode his horse to school. They gave him a horse, a pink horse. But for him. Oh, that's how he knew how to ride horses. That's all he had to. I'll just stop there. Oh, no. Just, mm, just, I forgot. Oh, uh, uh, I'm sorry. When you get through, I just remembered something that he said at the first. Mm. Said that when he was two days okay. old, right. pierced his ears, <laughs> and you heard him say, "I can't wear earrings." Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, awesome. Yeah, it was a lot of information. Yeah. Uh, Grandma Martha Nell, do you want to comment? Yeah, yeah comment. What they, I'm just going to add a little bit to what they said there. I don't remember hearing about the sister in here, but he was talking about the boys. The uh, older boys than him died. And mm -hmm. so he said he was the fourth boy. And because of that, they were real careful with him. You know, that nothing happened to him. And they seemed to hold him high, you know, because that was their child, that only child, I guess, that survived that. And they, like they said, they they pierced his mm. ears. And um, they thought a lot of him and said, uh, because of those lost sons, they were very careful with him. And he said, besides, he was always getting colds, you know, catching colds. And then, um, what did he say? He, um, I was talking about the, when he's talking about the horse there, I was trying to remember everything he said, but it sounded like a paint horse that he was talking about riding. Um, mm -hmm. And he had some people yeah. treating him and they were, you know, singing those four songs that were healing songs or something. He mentioned those. And he said he was kind of really tied to his auntie, like an aunt, what it sounded like. And they probably helped take care of him. And, um, he said they tied those ribbons on those horses, remember? Picked them up. And um, then he even had saddles. He talked about having saddles. And then, um, let's see, he, um, let's try to take a few dots and notes here. Anyway, they just worked hard to take care of him. He said he had a whole buckskin outfit, you know? And uh, something about these three horses. I don't know what the three horses were, giveaway horses or what, but, um, he uh, had pretty much everything. And he said, toward the end, he said, he's not bragging, but that's just the way they took care of him, you know, because they were wanting him to survive, I guess, that child to survive. And uh, he said he was doing other things like smoking and stuff. He said, Honda Zell Bada, he said, you know, kind of like he was getting himself in trouble and they were trying to really take care of him. And he owned a car. And he said, you know, back in that day, they got cars and bought new cars and stuff, practically every year. So then he quit talking. Yeah. Oh, I didn't keep <laughs> track of that part. He spoke <clears throat> since he spoke English, but <clears throat> he we talked about the medicine man. Mm -hmm. Conklin came to treat him when he was right. sick, he and was there was another one. one. Yeah, there's I didn't hear the yeah, name. There. Yeah, he goes another I, man, uh, but I couldn't uh, remember. Yeah. yeah. And he said he got the horses at a giveaway at one of them was at White Buffalo's place, he said. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he said that. And then, yeah. So 
And the only reason I said he doesn't mention his sister, but the only reason I say that because I, I just remember Yale and his sister Emma. They just had they were just the two of them, and I remember them when I was small growing up. Oh, mm -hmm. oh, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. It's too bad he didn't mention his father's name. It's funny, Bird. <laughs> yeah, what is it? But, uh, he grew his uh, brother to Lord, to the chief Lord. Yeah. <clears throat> Speaking of names, we're kind of off the subject, but uh, Marion, you said one. They what you said, I hate his name. What is it? I hate they though, or something. Is that did I hear it right? Yeah, mm -hmm. okay, that's right. That's right. Yeah, I didn't have any idea what it was till I heard that. Yeah. Oh, all right. Um, okay, well, let's, it looks like we have 11 minutes left of the, uh, this recording. So we'll see, uh, we'll see who's next. Uh, Stephen Hall will now make a comment on uh, young boy, young, young boy school as he shows up. That's what I'm going to tell from there on. ハイケ、ハイケ、ハイケ、ハイケ、ハイケ、ハイケ、ハイケ、ハイケ、ハイケ、ハイケ、ハイケ、ハイケ、ハイケ、ハイケ、ハイケ、ハイケ、ハイケ
Yeah. But his mother didn't. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he did say that. Oh, Miss yeah. Marion, would you like to comment? He just said, he just said, what the Lord said. He said, he hasn't paid you so I'm going to keep his sins. I'm just kidding. <laughs> he said his father instructed him, but it's none of him. This sounds well, he says his mother never gave him instructions, I guess. All instructions. Went to the army. They, he came back from the army. He married, but he didn't give his wife's name. Obaho. Oh, oh, uh, Grandma Martha. Okay, yeah, he didn't speak that long, so it was he went through it pretty quick. But what they said, and then um, he said that. Uh, it was time for him to go on his way, and that's when he joined the army, like she said. And he said, as soon as he got out, he got married. And he said, it seemed like he was saying there was just one road to follow. And he said, that's all I know. Oh. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and press play for the next speaker. They go what goes on my go son by going to do the No discussion on Oh we go 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 by the Koi San Domu Pel Koi go I go no but don't San I go family sad though the clothes I am back of it so I collate I go Colleague, I don't get high. It's a big dumb of a can get. Oh, and Kia, and a colleague dumb. Eek, eeg, and so cool, then those are. And he don't go, I yo ego. I mean, Kia don't go, be no bit, I might, and I can't keep on my phone, and so on, those are. But on he won't get in a collate. Then he at you. Ah, kickle game soft is on go vega. Can he my heko? He go me all soft, he go. At you, ya dog, he go, he go soft is on. Just all you just don't get more than. Don't get an icon keyboard, my dog. I saw all back. So good that they're going to want to mind it. Total Kali Yoko Mash on Gundisaw. Kesso him, they're going to want to want. Kesso him, they're going to target to get the. And so I do that. Go, hey, go. All day tell you you more behind talk. All day my talk, I'll be talk on the Pride and joy, okay, don't get it. The pride and joy. Kai was. They, the family, they won't build. That's a Kai way. But a special courtesy. Special consideration, adoration for just one, a boy or girl, son or daughter. Okay, I'm going to up, but more so I go fight. I have go all day, tell you, all day my turn. I'm my, oh yeah. Go ahead, I'll go more, I go one, just one, either boy or girl. Go toy fight, Diane. Again, I don't done now, oh my God. Again, two times, my ego saw, don't. I can't, 
Oh, I don't tell you that at all. Jag har ju en gammaton dag, och det är all som och dag är ju nog all kinia i år. Dag är jag och det går nog all som och dag, dag, dag. Det går på hemma, jag har gått. Jag har hållit dag, dag, då går hon på en. Då går hon på en och går hem och går. I'm got your blanket. I get it on the chalk. Yeah. We tried it all get down. We only go soft. We go no more to get high. Go dog. I be get on the chalk. Eat a dog. Not eat. Be on my long get high. Go dog. But all day my turn a dog. Don't all day much. Being well on your high go. Oh, okay, God. Eday. Hi, out. Oh, don't get go. They call the fight the song. What all day much on the dog? Thought again. The fight the song. Oh, ah, so I let go. Being good at competition. And again, you don't want to begin it. Okay, go to me on it, connect. Practice makes perfect. I bet you go to your hike. I know the moon back, come on your hike. I know this, I know. I go back to that. This guy can't come back, eh? Close on it. Today on top, get down. Sit down, we go back here. Like me. On top. But top, they go, they go, they go, my even. He can tell you, they go, they go, they go. On top, they go, they go, they go, they go, they go, they go, they go. So they got some they they go more go get go more so but on the key and I collate the old tongue of cold thick echo I collate oh and I collate I they are the doctors on but the over how many a high today they all think over a good high yeah. Okay. Um, who is that speaker? <clears throat> Bruce Lone Wolf. Oh. From Hobart. You said Bruce? You said Bruce? Bruce, yes. Bruce? Bruce Lone Wolf. Hey. Oh. Yeah. Go ahead, Grandma D. You want to comment first? Well, yeah, he was talking about he began with and then he ended up with the same the same thought that in those in a long time ago people were together, mm -hmm. stayed together, all the families they were all there, and then uh, all all your family is talking about his grandfather. Mentioned him a, a lot. Well, mentioned him at the first. His grandfather was Lone Wolf, Chief Lone Wolf, as they call him. And uh, he just talked about when he was this time, they all stayed together, all the families. And um, but then now. He ended up with saying that it's not that way now. He named the number of children he had, and, and they were all gone, and all grown and gone. And then he talked about uh, how uh, the children, when they grow up, they're young, but they grow up, and then they begin to help with the camp or with the family. As they grew up, they learned things, and they more or less took over 
a lot of the things that their parents or older people did. And then he talked about a woman who he heard a woman he said speaking about how she was all day. She didn't have to do anything except when she grew up and she didn't know how to do anything. <laughs> she got married and so anyway, that was in there. That was because she did not have to do things that most younger women had to do and learn. Omaha. Oh, who? Miss Marion, would you like to comment? Mm -hmm. I agree with what uh, Dolores said. In the early days, the whole people, relatives, they were together. We're so scared from our camping together days when divisions, people camped together, families. And then, of course, he says, and uh, they were together, and then they had work. They, of course, worked together just taking care of the camps in those days. But then, you know, I say, kindness had to work away from home. Didn't say that specifically, but I would. The word I kind of like was he said, he said, hey, saw, they saw my, saw they saw my, sounds like go shake a leg and work, <laughs> <laughs> but, or move around and work. And he said, of course, the women, well, the people were industrial. And um, then he talked about um, the families, all the Kiowa families had some child that was all day to them and that they dearly cared for and sometimes it was the older child they just uh it was just like a custom and uh there was one daughter he mentioned she said she grew up like that she would always someone would call her hair each day uh braid it and then later she married, she couldn't cook. And, but she learned, it took time. Like he said, practice makes perfect. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is what it was long ago. And uh, that was the, a kind of, an addition to have all day, not talking about day, Tali, in the family. And all children were well thought of regardless. And more so among the Kaiwa than among the Tokoi. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Oh, uh, oh. Grandma Martino? Okay, they covered a lot of what he said, and um, it seemed like, you know, their children really meant a lot to them because. He said there were a lot of all days around. <laughs> and in that case, though, he was saying, like, for instance, uh, like the girls didn't have to cook or have to know that stuff. They didn't have to do it. So by the time they got married, it was kind of hard because they had to learn how to do that. But um, in the early childhood days, the younger days, they didn't have to do that. And um, once they got married, they had to learn that. So um, it came up. But yeah. I think that's true, too, because, uh, you know, if, you, if a family has an older, like the first grandchild, let's say, that comes along, you know, that grandchild's just an awesome thing to them. So they're going to dote on that that child, you know, and give them everything and take care of them and do that stuff. And I can see where that that happened like that. But at the same time, if you're you're in that position and you're not learning the stuff you're supposed to learn, like in the old days, what everybody did then you're going to have a rougher time when you start your own life. <laughs> That's what I think. That's kind of what mm -hmm. I think he brought out. You know? uh, That's why I'm not a cook, because I didn't have to cook when I was a little <laughs> younger. But I did like to bake. <laughs> I learned baking from my mom, because I like that. 
But as far as cooking dishes and stuff, I wasn't into it too much. So it was kind of hard for me starting out when I got married and had to learn a lot of that. And I will tell you that the first time that we moved to a, a base and were assigned uh, housing, and I guess I didn't know this, but they hadn't turned on the gas in the, in the stove. And it was during um, Thanksgiving. And, you, you know, that's when you do a lot of cooking and stuff. And when I found out that didn't work, and there we were, like Thanksgiving morning, and I had to call the maintenance to come over, and they lit it. And so we had a very, very late dinner. <laughs> <laughs> no stuff like that. Right. Mm -hmm. I guess that's how you how we learn, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you have to. <laughs> well, I, I didn't know how to cook either. I don't like to cook. I don't really like to eat. <laughs> but I do like to sew, do things like that. So I always say, I wish I liked, I wish I knew and liked to cook because you have to eat, but you don't. But you can go to a store and buy clothes. <laughs> <laughs> so I like, uh, so I like the wrong thing. But <laughs> uh, he was a uh, Bruce was a uh, talk. I, I remember him. On one other time, and he's always uh, bringing out things that that you know that just add to the discussion that they're having. And he adds more to it than they would not would be lacking if he were not there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's a um. he's a very quiet man. You would never know. Some of the things that he brings out, so <clears throat> that's why it is. That's why Kiowa people are Kiowa men. They they just keep quiet. They don't have to talk. They just know. Oh, I know. I don't yeah. remember Sadie Tom, but she learned. Different skills mostly because she was determined to help her mother after her mother had a stroke, and so she just wanted to learn as much as she could in cooking and selling stuff and money. And but then when, as I was growing up, I was just so suddenly and excited and mom and she wouldn't say, no, I'll do it, I'll do it. And, and that was it, that just went on through until way after I was married. And if I want a dress or something, oh, I'll do it, I'll do it. And I just, then sometimes I wouldn't say a word. So I started learning because I wanted to learn. <laughs> but she just, I guess she just took pride in what she needed. So that was uh, really something else that she taught. When you do something, do it well. Because other people will criticize if you don't. And so that was the lesson there. But that's... Uh, I can see that when, and listen to the, what Dolores said too about the as well. So that's a good thing. She didn't mention about what Dolores comments. Oh. Oh. <clears throat> uh oh. All right. Um. Well, it looks like we only have a couple minutes left on here, so I guess we'll see who the next speaker is. Okay. The, the boys were thrown off by their parents as he grows up. They will try to do all they can to please him. They, not, they don't only care for the boy, but 
they also teach you to be honest, kind, friendly. They teach him decency. <coughs> And as he grows long, he may need something in the way of to or play things or toys or something. Of course, he has his own bow and arrow made by the parents. And he also may join what is known as the rabbit dance. Then in neatness, they see that it's neat. They provide clothing for him for any occasion every day special day and also dance costumes not only that but they'll, they'll tame a horse for him so he can ride He'll be his own horse. Sometimes they'll decorate the horse as well as the boys. So that's the outline of their talks. Mm. Yeah. Hey, uh, I got the. Black Hills in common language, how would you uh, pronounce it, Yale? Yeah. No. So just, no, uh, I'll get Okoy Kong, yeah. Koi Kong, yeah. Sal Koi Kong. Sal Sal Koi That's the, uh, the name of the Black Hills Mountain. Black Hills. Hills. We don't know. Mountain yeah, Kong, yeah. Koi. <laughs> wow. Well, I guess that's uh, over with. Monday. <laughs> that was my father, and I'm surprised he's speaking English. I think he's trying to translate what people are talking, and I think they were trying to tell his his uh, little boy name was Saul Coin. They were talking, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. I don't think they got together what the name was. Oh, <laughs> somebody was bringing up the Black Hills or something. <laughs> trying to yeah, get his, get his name. So I don't know. It'd been interesting <laughs> to say what, but that was his name when he was a when he was a child. Yeah. Oh, Saul Coin. And that's the name, his agency name also. So it means true. When he got his checks, it had Saul Coin. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But he had three names. That was his first name. I guess that was his name when he went to school. I don't know. Started the school. Oh. Oh. Wow. That's awesome. <clears throat> Would anyone like to make any closing comments? I missed. I will most have to do. But I, the first part, when Louie was saying, the boys, um, were cared for, and they were taught to be honest and decent as he grows up. 
And um, from my information that I have from elders, is that I know her parents and everybody else. Yeah, that's one of the important things that all the children should learn, but especially the boys, because they're seeing so much in, among their playmates and who they associate with. It was very important to learn to behave because the characters and reputation of that boy is very important as he grows in the manhood. But also, they're known by their association with other others, and so they try to keep them away from the, the boys or uh, others their age who are, as we say, wild and don't have any sense, can't go pain, and ones that are just uh, what they call. Um, lower classes, as we say, in Cardinals, don't vote. Oh. Because then they, they get into trouble, or they're thieves, or they, you know, they just do all the bad things. And so, the Kiowa families, especially the, rep the reputable families, try to keep their children separated from uh, interacting with those types of children, even though they don't need of the same tribe, of the same group that we have. So, this is what, uh, again, I'm not really was talking about. Oh. Oh. Well, I think uh, this has been an interesting session they had because you notice that only two women talk, spoke. The rest, the rest were all men. And so when it comes to child rearing or talk about the home, usually uh, it would be the uh, the women that would be featured anywhere, not just Kiowa, but uh, just, just our society. We, the women do all talking and then, mm -hmm. and they do all the Rearing, but this was interesting how they, these Kiowa men, uh, observed and lived and were taught. That's where they lived, the small boys, on up to adults. So that was, I thought that was interesting that more men spoke than women. Oh, that is interesting. Yeah. Mm. It was nice that they were able to share their memories, though, you know, of, of when they were the men, when they were growing up and they talked a lot about their grandparents and their siblings. And that was really interesting. So that <clears throat> that shows you that how important the family was to Kiowa people. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yep. And not just right. any one person either. All of them. <laughs> yes. Yep. Times have changed. <laughs> and they will change. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Well, this is really good. Um, okay. Well, I guess uh, we're at time, so we could uh, wrap up. Um, so next weekend, um, we're uh, it's gonna be uh, Tonkonga on uh, you know, next Sunday. So I'm sure people will be busy. So that's why I wanted to have our session today. Um because we won't be meeting next week because of Tonkonga. And then uh, we can, we'll be meeting again on Sunday the 15th for our Zoom sessions. October. For this. And uh, I'll send out the reminder. 
and I'll probably send out a reminder on Sunday next week just to let people know, you know, we won't have a session because of Tonkonga. Um, but other than that, that's kind of the plan. Um, okay, let's see. Any questions? Okay. Um, well, uh, to close us up, um, Grandma D, a dot sai. Oh, Sab Hanan Pad, Leon D, Yan Tari, Tata Do Doggy, Gargui Dog, Tonga, How can get taint on me? Uh, get tend to army, hate the hate the girl, got get cold blood. Uh, and at all time, over eight all time do doggy. And at any time, but and at any good and at all time, your little dog come walk your little dog stay there. Yeah, <laughs> I hold it like how oh, you can't pay that they go outside the mm -hmm. Did my dad leave? Uh who? Uh -huh. right. Awesome. Uh -huh. Well, I hope everyone has a good week. And if if hopefully we'll see you over at Tong Konga if uh Are we gonna be on on Wednesday? Oh yes, ha, huh, we will. <laughs> okay. Uh, we'll meet on Wednesday for our uh, uh, session with all of the uh, language teachers and the candidates. So, uh, yep, I'll send that reminder out probably Wednesday morning. So, okay. Well, hopefully, well, we'll I see you. Enjoy the session. <laughs> oh, okay. oh, all right. Hey, Gaba Oi, Bonka. Hey, Gaba Oi, Tonka. Oh.